Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. We're gonna be doing a twin flame reading. I'm really excited because I just got these new twin flame cards. So it's the first time that I'm gonna be using them. All right, but we're gonna jump into those later. So let's start off with some oracle cards. This is for anybody watching, anybody who's um, in a twin flame union or struggling with one <laughs> as they can be the most difficult. All right, what are the most important messages for any twin flames watching? Okay, young male. So, um, the masculine twin could be a young male, or if not age-wise, they could have a young soul, you know, be young at heart. Let's see. What else? What other messages do we have here? Um, if this is not one of the twins, um, it could also be someone affecting the situation. Okay, yeah, because we have short term. So um, it could also be like a, a karmic or a short, someone's having a short term relationship with a young male. We also have work. Maybe it's someone at work. Um, let's see. But sometimes other people can help the connection, even if it's a toxic one. Even our toxic relationships help us, right? Because we learn from them, we grow from them, they teach us something. So every relationship has some sort of value. Excuse me, sorry. Okay, any romance angels? Oh, we also have young female at the bottom of this deck. So, I'm not sure who that is, but it could be if one of the twins is involved with a young male, maybe the other one says, hey, I'm gonna get myself a young female, you know? Oh, wow. Something was telling me to look underneath this card, but that happens a lot, so sometimes I'm like, okay, no. <laughs> but it says, twin flame, crazy, right? And the last twin flame reading um, I did, this card came out too. It was at the bottom of the deck, actually. So crazy. All right. <laughs> Anyways, so what are the romance angels for this twin flame situation, please? Okay. Pay attention to the red flags, okay? The signs are cautioning you. So, if that does have to do with this young male or young female, this could also mean in between the relationship between the twins. Um, you know, pay attention to the red flags within each other or within yourself, right? Because that's what it usually has to do with, <laughs> is yourself. Or it's there to teach you a lesson. Then we have forgiving and learning. So as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in the present moment. Yeah, and that's so important, um, especially in these types of situations. If there's other people involved or there's any red flags because of, I don't know, toxicity or drama, what can make it worse is your ego. You bring your ego into it, all of a sudden people are playing games, they're trying to one-up each other, it's a big old mess and no one gets anywhere like that so 
forgiving and learning is understanding that, you know, even though people make mistakes, that I believe most of the time people have good intentions. And so that's the easiest way to remember that everyone's human, everyone makes mistakes, and just forgive and let go and move on, you know. Um, okay, any other romance angels before we move on? Oh, this is a juicy one. <laughs> There's like some drama. <laughs> I haven't had a reading like this before, or for a while, I should say. Of course, I've had drama in readings before. Okay, this one was wanting to pop out. It didn't fully pop out, but I'm pulling it out. <laughs> it says trust. Um, this situation is calling for you to have faith. I feel like that goes hand in hand with, you know, forgiving and learning. So trust not only in yourself, in other people, but in the universe. You know, everything happens for a reason. You may not understand it in the moment, but one day it'll all make sense. It'll all fall into place. Okay. Any other romance angels before we move on? I feel like that's, that's it. Yeah. Okay. So let's, let's do some tarot now. Let's draw some tarot for my twin flames. What are the most important messages, please, for my twin flames? Regarding this situation, the hanged man, okay, in this deck it's the hanged one, <laughs> um, but I feel like if you guys are, if your guys' goal is to reunite, um, then, um, someone has to go through some sort of like have an epiphany or a realization regarding the situation um, before this could ever happen. So right now it feels like you guys are just stuck in limbo. Um, okay, what else? Wow, okay, yeah. <laughs> it's juicy. <laughs> so we have the Three of Swords with the devil. Um, it makes a lot of sense because, I mean, we have young female and young male, so obviously there's other people involved here, so, because Three of Swords can mean third party. There's obviously some sort of other, rela either relationships going on, um, but I feel like you don't really need to worry because they are short term, um, and it looks like both of you have them going on so it's kind of fair game at this point right you're you're both doing your own thing <laughs> like nobody owns each other even if you're twins you know even if you're meant to be and sometimes you have other lessons that you need to learn first before you can come together and sometimes the best way we learn is through our relationships with other people um they could also be karmic ties, right, with the devil. So, all right, any other cards, tarot cards, before we move on? Okay, so Eight of Cups. Um, I'm thinking someone's going to walk away the chariot. Um, so it could be a Cancer with a chariot, it could be a Capricorn the devil but regardless of signs doesn't really matter because twins can be any signs um, but I'm seeing that after someone walks away that can cause 
like that's when the healing starts you know that's when things can start moving forward maybe like from when they're feeling stuck here with the hanged man um okay any other cards so i'm not sure who's walking away here like this could be the third party is walking away this could be the twins like could be i have no idea could be any of them um people also have free will of course like the cards are just guidance you know so anyone can do what they want and this could all change even after i do this reading people could decide differently um so we have the judgment card so yeah definitely after someone walks away some major changes are going to happen whoops the wheel of fortune and a judgment call is going to be made so like a final decision i think people which i mean of course that's eventually going to happen people in these toxic situations like with third parties it's of course it's it's never going to last it's always going to come to an end like people are going to get fed up here they're going to walk away it's going to be messy and then that's when the real healing can start right so all right i'm going to pull some of my twin flame cards I don't even know what else can come out because that was so like juicy that was a lot of drama that came out I'm pretty sure this is just gonna reiterate what I already said but let's just see for fun okay illusions okay so you might you might be feeling like because your twin is seeing someone else or that they're not your twin or that they're not really, they don't really love you. You know, it can be very confusing. So just uh, try to understand that, that you're not always going to see things clearly. So don't get too caught up. Don't get wrapped up in your head about things making you feel insecure or question yourself or your self-worth especially which can easily happen in these situations when there's other people involved you start comparing yourself you think oh am i not good enough you know that's all not true okay what else anything else like no, no other cards are coming out geez shuffling and shuffling okay yeah I did pull a lot of other cards oh here we go okay overthinker yep so that ties in with you know illusions you start to think too much about the situation and you lose sight of what's really happening. You get confused. Curious, wandering eyes. Yeah, see, we've already, you know, explained that there's plenty of third party cheating stuff going on here. So but maybe someone has an issue with that, like they just can't help themselves. Like they see someone else that captures their eye and they just like, they're addicted to it. You know, they're, they can't stop like looking for other options or okay, what else? Okay, we have user, okay? So someone here 
is a user someone's using somebody I don't know if it's these you know this young female or this young male or if it's like you guys as the twins but it seems like people are just using each other um, I guess the good part of that is that it doesn't mean anything um, but that's definitely not good you don't want to have anybody in your life who's using you or if you're using them that's not healthy so we have hard to let go so I feel like this is you and your twin more like you guys are having a hard time letting go of each other um, but sometimes if the two of you are meant to be it's kind of weird but you'll be able to reunite faster if you like the quicker you let go of each other because you can't have a connection with someone when you're constantly like holding on to them because that's not how that's not natural that's not how connections flow you know you gotta let go all right any other cards any other twin flame messages Oh, we have serenade love. Okay, that's beautiful. Oh, wow. And we have meant to be at the bottom of the deck. Isn't that what I just said? I said if you guys are meant to be, you need to let go. And then you can reunite faster. Yeah, so I feel like either after you guys are able to get rid of the third parties, clear out these other energies that are negatively affecting, you know, maybe someone's going to realize, like, they think that they are falling for the other person, and really, that person's just a user, and your twin's going to, like, wake up to that and realize that, and they're going to cut that person off as soon as they find, find out, and then they're going to realize, you know, who they truly love, or in one of you is, which is their twin, so... Yeah, that's beautiful. Um, definitely a lot of karma, a lot of mess to work through, but we have a beautiful ending. You guys are meant to be. You will end up together. So I love it. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, mm -hmm. and I'll see you next time. Bye.